There are at least 53 confirmed human cases of the bird flu in the U.S., according to the latest data from the CDC. 11 of them are in Washington state. Those who caught it in Washington were in close contact with infected poultry. While 11 isn't a terribly high number, a local virology expert says it is worth watching the spread of bird flu and whether humans are able to infect other humans with it. It's we possible. have not seen that, but absolutely it's possible. Dr. Alex Greninger, a professor of laboratory medicine and pathology at UW Medicine, says while human to human transmission of the bird flu is possible, of greater concern is when the bird flu manages to infect other farm animals like pigs. In October, the USDA confirmed a pig was found infected with the bird flu virus known as H5N1, the strain that's been circulating among wild birds and poultry in the Pacific Northwest. Dr. Greninger says this matters big time. And that's something that concerns people who study influenza because pigs have both receptors uh, in their respiratory tract uh, that for avians and for humans. And so they're classically thought to be sort of like the intermediate host between birds, pigs, humans. He says pigs can act as mixing vessels for viral mutations, thereby increasing the chance for a bird flu strain to adapt and infect humans. Dr. Greninger points out farm workers should take extra precautions. We're monitoring for those sort of mutations and we're trying to make sure that if individuals are going to get infected. One, that they, they wear protective equipment, you know, on these farms, so there, there are fewer cases in humans. Symptoms of bird flu among people have ranged from non-existent to mild or severe and have included redness in the eye and other flu-like symptoms like fever and cough. Research has shown bird flu is good at infecting cell receptors in the eye, hence the emphasis for farm workers to use personal protective equipment. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei reporting.